in the last triad exercise we went over, we looked at inequalities that uh, went infinitely in one direction or the other. Now we're looking at inequalities that actually have uh, an interval. And our first problem, well, we're told to graph each inequality on the number line and then write an interval notation. Our first problem, A, is negative 2 is less than x, which is less than 1. Both of them are, in e are non-inclusive, both, both less than. So we'll start with negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, and 2. Now again, for non-inclusive inequalities, uh, less than or greater than, it doesn't include the equal sign, we can use parentheses or we can use open circles. I'm going to choose to use open circles. So I would put an open circle at negative 2, and I would put an open circle at 1. I'm going to go ahead and change color for contrast. So an open circle at negative 2, an open circle at 1, and then x is somewhere between them. And then in interval notation, this would simply be negative 2 to 1, using parentheses because it's non-inclusive. Part B, we're given negative 5 is less than or equal to x, which is less than negative 4. So again, for the non-inclusive part, the less than negative 4, we can use an open circle or a parenthesis. For the inclusive part, the negative 5 is less than or equal to x, that includes negative 5, so we can indicate that either by using a square bracket or a closed circle. So again, I'll go ahead and draw my number line. And with this, we don't have very far to go, so I'll just go ahead and write it in uh, increments of 1 half. We'll start at negative 6, negative 5.5, negative 5, negative 4.5, and negative 4. So at x equals negative 5, we want either a square bracket or a closed circle. At x equals negative 4, because it's less than negative 4, we want a parenthesis or an open circle. And then x is somewhere between them. Then writing this in interval notation, we want a bracket on the left-hand side because it includes the negative 5. It goes to negative 4. It does not include negative 4, so we want a parenthesis there. And last but not least, with part C, we're given... 1 is less than or equal to x, which is less than or equal to 4.25. Now these are a little bit further apart, so I'm going to go ahead and, because we have the 0.25, I'm still going to use increments of 1 fourth, or 0 0.25. But I'm going to try to make the number line just a little bit longer. And we're going from 1 to 4.25, so I'm going to go in increments of 0 0.25. I'll start with 0 0.75, this will be 1, 1 1.25, 1.5, 1.75, 2, 2.25, and I'm going to have to change my scale because I didn't leave enough room. I'll go ahead and make these in increments of 1 half. So we'll start with 0 0.5, 1, 1.5, 2, 2.5, 3, 3.5, 4, and 4.5. Now again, both of these are inclusive, so we're going to use either square brackets or closed circles. I prefer to use the circles, that's just what I'm used to, but you can use brackets as well. We're starting at 1. And we're going to 4.25, which is halfway in between 4 and 4.5. And x is, again, going to be somewhere between them. So this is the inequality graphed on the number line. And in interval notation, we'll use square brackets because they're in it's inclusive. It includes the values on the endpoints. And we're going from 1 to 4.25. And again, that would be a square bracket on that end as well.